in undergrad, you basically read what you're told to read. Yeah. Bec and and I'm and I'm mirroring basically what you said in regards to that confidence and um, kind of needing more of the um, support and um, probably mentoring in regards to how to think or how to um, use certain journals or literature paper to support your learning as opposed to postgraduate I find it's more independent mm -hmm. learning and therefore if you I think it goes down to the person if you take the your own initiative to learn something you tend to have more enriched knowledge in certain genres which or certain topics and what kind of journal papers actually um, cover them mm -hmm. um, or certain theorists where you particularly like um, for a particular reason and and the more you read into them you realize there might be a branch of some of them so I think with your own exploration you actually develop a repertoire of um, knowledge through source base in your own literature as opposed to um, waiting on someone else to kind of tell you really I think because I um, I mean, not everyone thinks the same way or critiques the question the same way, and therefore, hopefully, they don't go to the same sources. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be a bit bland. So, I think it's important to look at things in multiple lens, as opposed, and therefore, seek multiple kind of different papers as much as you can. I think you made some great points there about the differentiation that there is an expectation for postgraduates around depth of thinking, around critical thought, and certainly the educational guidelines state that uh, critical reflection and, and critical ways of um, engaging are an expectation at postgraduate level. So that's, uh, I very much um, can appreciate that. We do see at undergrad level then a lot of people who are thinking of what we're talking about, surface surface mm. knowledge or surface mm. level learning, and the, the, we hope to transition people from a surface level to a deep, deeper level of thinking and capacity. So, um, yeah, it's really helpful. And you're also, I think, as an undergraduate, there is a tendency to sit in that student persona, mm -hmm. where, as you were saying, you expect someone to give you the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I think, when you start working at the postgraduate level, it's so important to start thinking of yourself as someone who's joining a community of scholars and that your lecturers and your your teachers are there to help welcome you into that discourse and into that community so you have to start thinking really quickly I need to be reading things written by professionals in my field for professionals mm -hmm. in my field and I need to be getting to that point where I feel comfortable joining that conversation mm -hmm. as well. Well in just to branch off that by doing that, you start to develop their language as well. And in, in order to do, uh, in, and by doing that, you actually um, read, I find that you start reading um, the journal or the document a lot more different because you, your awareness of language use and in mm. context has developed as well that you're not, you're, not, um, you're not just reading to know, but really reading to understand and then take it further by having a judgment or critique it so that way um, you're consolidating really but not in agreeable sense always and I think like the more you read something in a specific language also helps you develop as a writer as well which I think is very important especially in the postgraduate level.